Russia's new air defense system can target hypersonic cruise missiles while also intercepting ballistic missiles within 600 kilometers. If that wasn't enough, it can be deployed easily and possesses an airstrike range of 400 to 500 kilometers. This incredible air defense system is known as the S-500 missile system, and it's Russia's most advanced new-gen surface-to-air missile system with all the incredible features it offers. This video will explain why it shocked the world when Russia tested it. However, before we get into further details, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Military Technology Updates channel. Why is NATO concerned about this machine? This incredible defense system was built by the Russian state defense company and designed to intercept ballistic missiles and other airstrikes from intercontinental adversaries at an altitude of up to 200 kilometers. This system can hit as many as 10 targets standing 600 kilometers away. It also has a response time of 3 to 4 seconds, which is one advantage it has over the S-400 that is known to take longer. So I'm sure you're starting to see why it's not all that advantageous for the US and NATO to declare war on Russia. The missiles used by this great weapon are the 77N6-N1 and the 77N6-N missiles. These missiles can be fitted with an inert warhead, capable of demolishing adversary nuclear warheads accurately. Early in the year, Russia's defense ministry disclosed images showing the test launch of the S-500 at the Kapustin Yar firing range. The weapons reportedly intercepted a high-speed ballistic target. The S-500's operational range is about 370 miles, within which it can actually detect and counter up to 10 terminal ballistic missiles flying at speeds as high as 4.34 miles every second. Besides the tactical air defense protection, it also provides tactical air defense during combat. The S-500 Prometheus system is believed to be one of the most advanced on the planet and is said to have the capacity to shoot destructive bursts of hypersonic missiles. The hypersonic missiles in question are still under development in several countries. Analysts from Moscow reported that the S-500 could even target low Earth orbit satellites and 5th gen stealth jets. When you add that to the primary cruise and ballistic missile targets features, this is a very good defense system. And yet, there is more. The system's survivability is supposedly enhanced by its high resistance to electronic interference. The S-500 was developed to replace the older A-135 missile systems that are currently being used right now. It is considered a step up from the S-400. However, it is said to complement that platform rather than replace it. The Origin of This Weapon since the S-500 appears to share a lot of similar designations with the S-500U project of the 1960s, the relationship is still not clear between the two. The S-500U multi-channel anti-aircraft system was a 1968 initiative by the Soviet Navy and Air Defense Forces. The parties involved the Ministry of Shipbuilding and the Ministry of Radio Industry to create a unified complex for the Air Force, Defense Troops, Land Troops, and Navy Troops. The missiles of the S-500U complex were supposed to attack enemy aircraft at a distance of up to 100 kilometers. However, the S-500 SAM complex project was rejected by the Soviet military, which had a requirement to attack enemy aircraft and short-range ballistic missiles. Consequently, the S-300 family was developed instead. The designer Almaz Ante started the design back in 2009, and the plan was to be completed by 2012. When February 2011 came around, it was announced that the first S-500 units should reach series production by 2014. You know how it is with these military weapons and delays in secrecy. In 2013 though, two production plants were to be built to produce the S-500, and initial deliveries were scheduled for any time between 2015 and 2017. Based on the original plans, about 10 S-500 battalions were to fall into the Russian aerospace defense known as VKO. This was reported under the state armament program for the last two years. 
According to the initial schedule, the S-500s will be used in service with their S-400 counterparts. Together, they would replace the S-300 missile systems. The first units are scheduled to be deployed in the central part of the country. The world is also unhappy that its naval version with armament for the new lighter class destroyer is in the works. Production started in 2019. However, the serial output of the first 10 S-500 only started last year. The Development of Russia's S-500 the development of the S-500 began in 2010, not long after Russia deployed its first batch of S-400s back in 2007. As expected, the system can defeat fifth-generation jets and low-orbiting satellites. Yes, it can defeat missile threats from miles away with unbelievable accuracy. But even as the existing S-300 and S-400 units were already fantastic enough for ballistic and cruise attacks, the Russians had already decided they wanted more. As with many military weapons, the S-500 has faced significant delays. Moscow had said that the development of its design was completed in 2011. However, it only moved its serial production forward to 2017, then last year, all the way from 2014. Before the more recent one had everyone talking, Russia had conducted several test launches. Back in 2018, Putin conducted the planet's longest surface-to-air missile test. This was done with this weapon hitting a target 300 miles away. There are also reports suggesting that Russia will develop an export variant of the S-500, which will be sold to other countries. For one, China will likely be a customer of the S-500. Of course, there is also Turkey in the mix despite the country's controversial takeover of the S-400. Still, Istanbul has shown interest in acquiring the new system, and why not? You don't want to be the combatant using outdated weapons on an upgraded battlefield. So the Turkish president in 2019 announced that the country would produce the S-500 together with Russia. As the war in Ukraine rages on, Putin has tested and shown the weapon's effectiveness, and it seems to have had a shocking effect on NATO. How about the specifications of the system? This fearsome defense system can launch various types of interceptors. These include the 4, 0, and 6M, effective against aircraft and cruise missiles, and the 77N6 and 77N6-N1, which are effective against ballistic missiles or satellites. The 77N6 series interceptors are believed to be able to go about 500 to 600 kilometers. This Russian defense system comprises four radar vehicles per battery. This includes the 91N6E, the 760T6 multi-mode trigger radar, and the 770T6 anti-ballistic missile radar trigger. So what would be Russia's plan now? The Russian media reportedly announced last year that the S-500 would be equipped with interceptors against hypersonic weapons. Can that be done soon? Time will tell. What does its design look like? Built for tracking, intercepting, and destroying ballistic missiles and aircraft, the S-500 is incredible in its own right. But as stated earlier, it also aims to destroy hypersonic cruise missiles and other aerial targets. Now that the talk involves hypersonic, you know that it seeks to detect and attack weapons at speeds over Mach 5. As of now, it is effective against ballistic missiles with a launch range of 3,500 kilometers, plus its radar reaches a radius of 3,000 kilometers. The Russian air defense hopes to counter other targets, including low Earth orbit satellites, aerial vehicles with no crew, and space weapons sent from hypersonic aircraft or orbital platforms. Amazingly, the system will be mobile and have a rapid implementation. Experts believe that the system's capabilities can attack ICBMs from adversaries in mid and late flight. However, reports from Almaz Ante revealed that the external target designation system will be able to intercept flying portions of enemy ballistic missiles. Now that's a tough call, which is why it's one of the final stages of the S-500 project. Production continues. The long-range surface-to-air missile system from Russia has entered serial production. The Russian National Defense magazine reported this in an April 25 interview. 
The report also gave details about the S-400 and Tor M2 air defense systems. However, one must understand that the company still has to consider its most promising export prospects. The models in service for the Russian armed forces are the 50R6 S350 and the 9K317M Book M3. It might interest you that the Book M3 first made its combat debut during the ongoing Russian war in Ukraine. The export iteration of the Book M3 is referred to as the Viking. The exact build of the S-500 Prometheus remains debatable. However, according to official Russian sources, the system can engage targets at 100 to 200 kilometers. Depending on the target's size, speed, and radar cross-section, the range could increase to 500 to 600 kilometers. An unknown source from America reported on CNBC back in 2018 that the system's missile could hit a target at 300 miles. Before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Military Technology Updates. Let's get back to the video. Problems between opposing nations over this machine. A powerful weapon is not always easy to use, and it is believed that Russian defense officials have been training army officers on it since 2017. As you can imagine, sophisticated weapons require a bit of sophistication on the operator's part too. As a result, more operators are more comfortable with the old model, the S-400. However, this is not stopping the Russian military from replacing the S-400 missile defense system with the S-500. The replacement was slated for 2024, but since we've seen it during the Ukraine war, the overhaul has started then. The S-400 has been a trusted machine since the year 2007 and has an operational range of 400 kilometers. But the S-500 is a much more sophisticated version and thus can do more. Also, the S-500 can target hypersonic missiles, which gives it an advantage over the S-400. The S-500 can also aim at F-22, B-2, and F-35 stealth aircraft. But then, these weapons can sometimes cause problems. In 2018, India signed a $5 billion deal with Russia to buy some of its S-400 defense missile machines. Naturally, this was not something the US was happy about, and they sent warnings. However, India went ahead with the contract despite the warnings of the risk of US sanctions. The CAATSA sanctions happened even after two US senators sent a letter to the US president to drop the sanctions against India. CAATSA stands for Countering America's Adversaries Through Sanctions Act. This was America's way of punishing countries that bought Russia's defense hardware. India was not the only one as Turkey also shared in it. The previous Trump administration hit Erdogan's Turkey with sanctions after buying the Russian S-400 air defense system. In addition, the US government blocked the sale of next-gen US F-35 fighters after Turkey dealt with Putin. The sale sparked a bitter dispute between both countries, with Erdogan demanding compensation as Turkey had made an advance payment of $1.4 billion. Ukraine claims to have captured one. The war continues, and recently, Ukraine claims to have captured one of Russia's S-500 air defense systems. There's no denying how hard to believe this is, but maybe there's a chance it's true. Multiple defense media outlets have reported it with videos circulating on social media. The weapons admin tweeted a 43-second video showing a New Age 9S935 man-portable air defense system. Unfortunately, the indicated weapon can hardly be the S-500 as lots of it is not even in production. If you enjoy watching videos like this, then leave a like and ensure to subscribe to the channel Military Technology Updates. That way, you don't miss out on our next videos.